In this video, we're doing sky replacement, not only sky replacement, but sea replacement and even time replacement. We're going to be making this photo look as if it's a sunrise or a sunset, all on Affinity Photo on the iPad. This is another fun tutorial. The pictures I use are in the description below. Feel free to download them. Follow along if you can. So let's get into it. Here we are back inside Affinity Photo on the iPad. And this is an image I simply found and downloaded from unsplash.com. If you look in the description below, you'll find a link to this photo. So feel free to download it, import it into Affinity Photo and follow along. So sky replacement, this is quite a nice photo. Uh, the sky is okay. Everything about the photo is grand. It, it would be okay as is. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we want to radically or maybe not radically change it, but change it up quite a bit to make it look like a, a sunset or maybe a sunrise. So the first thing I want to mask out the foreground, the sea and this here person standing. So we will go into the selections persona. We're going to go to the smart selection brush. We'll make it nice and big and we'll try to grab everything down here. And straight away, it's done a good job of grabbing all here. And then if we zoom in, we'll need to make the brush quite a bit smaller to get some of this rock. Maybe, oops, maybe. Again, two fingers will undo. I accidentally hit something up here, so two fingers will undo that. And straight away with one tap, it's, it's done a great job in this guy. Or girl. Yep, that's pretty good. Uh, there's a bit between the arm and the leg, so if I hit mode, subtract, Bring it down even further again. Let's see if we can get these wee bits. It's quite tricky. We'll maybe leave it there to see what it does and tap that wee bit. We'll try that. I know we're missing a few bits. If need be, if it's very picky, we can go to the pen tool and cut a wee bit out. But we'll go to a refined edge and we'll see what we can get away with by just refining this edge a wee bit. And hopefully it'll, it'll pick up the difference. Yep, in between everything else. Oops, two fingers don't do that. Everything else seems grand, so I think the only bit we need to work on is this wee bit. This wee bit. Let's see how that's looking. Black and white, it's not looking bad. Can we get a wee bit cleaner here? I think it is getting it a bit, bit better. Let me just clean this wee bit up ever so slightly. And we'll do our selection. We'll make it we'll make it a new layer with a mask and hit apply. And our background or our sky is now gone. Which is half the battle really, isn't it? Uh so our sky's now gone. It looks like we've got a good selection of this person and the sea and the rocks. So now we're gonna bring in a sunset picture, and this is one I looked ahead of time. Again, it's an unsplashed.com and it's going to be in the link in, in the description below. So that doesn't look great. If we bring it down below this layer and just by making a copy of that, it's uh, hidden this background layer and, and that's okay. 
So this here sunsets below. So we don't want two seas. So I'll bring this down. What we could actually have done is uh, we could have masked out. Oh, two fingers undo. We could have masked out this C and this bit of the C and just used this C. And I'm tempted to do that. But I don't think I will just because this is a sky replacement and that would be sky and C. So we'll, we'll see what we can do to see if we can uh, blend the two in. And I'll maybe have to make this a wee bit bigger. I'll maybe slightly rotate it so it's a similar horizon and I'll maybe even make it bigger again. A few wee practical points to, to notice with this photo is I could if I click on the sunset layer, I can bring the sun over here and that's grand, but all the shadows are kind of pointing certainly this one this way, this way we bet that would suggest the sun has to go on this side. So yeah, the shadows are kind of all pointing slightly this way, so the sun would be best over here. I'll maybe even scale this up a wee bit bigger. Really, the sun should have a reflection here. And you know what? I maybe will just mask out this C. I could redo the photo again, or I could redo the mask again, but I'm, I'm and clean this guy or this girl up again, but I'll maybe just try to take away the C. So by going into the layer studio, twirling down, make sure the mask layer isn't selected, but the pixel layer, the layer that uh, the rocks is on, go to the smart selection brush. And this C, if we can just get this, the C here, shouldn't take too long. I'll try to get these rocks. Just a wee bit. A wee bit fiddly, and if you don't get them all, it's okay. The refined edge should do it. And that looks okay. Output selection, apply. So now, if I go to the mask layer, and again, if you want to know about more about masks, if you check out my video on masking, You'll know we can now go to the paintbrush, go into the layer studio, make sure the mask layer selected. We've got the color black, black hides, and we can just simply hide out, paint out this C. Now if I click one finger to deselect, that looks pretty good. There's a few wee feathering issues here, which I would be tempted to go and clean up a wee bit, or maybe even better, use the pen tool. And you know what? I'm just not happy with that. I think I will use the pen tool. Uh, if I go two fingers undo, undo. Because it won't take long. It was just the smart selection brush. It was just having trouble at this area of just defining this edge. So what I'll quickly do is, because I think it would look good, this this C out. And it won't take long to cut these few rocks out. And it's still a sky replacement tutorial. It's just sky and C now. I'll click into this layer. I'll click the pen tool and ever so quickly and Seeing this as rocks, you really don't have to be too particular. I know these are an awful lot of an awful lot of dots, but that's that's okay. And if I was doing this myself, I'd probably do it a wee bit more. I'd spend a wee bit more time on it, but just for the purposes of this tutorial and then we'll just close this path off down here we'll hit selection and now we'll go into the mask layer and we'll try this again this time 
one finger to deselect and that looks pretty good I'll quickly do this wee bit of C again I'm not being too neat and tidy because No one really will ever know what this rock looked like before. So that's okay. Oh, two fingers. I don't know what happened there. We'll bring this up a bit like that. And close that path off. Make a selection. Again, just make sure we're on the mask layer. Paint it out. And... That is looking pretty good. We'll maybe just move the sunset into a bit more of the position where it was before. I think it was it was up there. And that's nice about having this layer. We'll maybe move this layer to the top now. So, wow, I was, I was very close. Just a wee bit, just a wee bit higher. Just use that for, for guidance now. Maybe bring it up to about there. And again, it doesn't need to be exact. I think I'm happy with that. And that is looking really well. I know we've got a bit of blue water down here, but we'll maybe, we'll maybe do something about that in a wee second because the image is looking nice. I've done a sky replacement, which was the purpose of this tutorial, but if I left it there, it, it wouldn't it doesn't look too natural it, it just looks a bit incomplete the colors are wrong down here compared to the sunset so in the last video we talked about adjustment layers so we're going to dip into adjustment layers again so by clicking this weed layer we're going to go down to curves and we're going to move the curve you remember if you've watched the last video and adjustment layers I just want the adjustment layer to affect not the background, but this here foreground area. So we'll bring it into the middle of this layer. And now it should only affect that. If we go quickly here, you can yep, play about with the dark and lightness of it. And that's only affecting this layer. So we're going to click into the curves. We've got it in master channel. I want to darken it just a wee bit and just by even darkening it, it's made it a great deal better because, uh, of course, if the sun was setting or rising, these rocks would be a lot darker. I maybe go to channels and I maybe go to the red channel and just not bring it down, but bring it up this time. Just to add what what's happening here is I bring it right up. It's adding red in it into it, which is adding a bit of warmth into it. If I bring it down, it's it's taking the red away, away and making it more green. So I'm just going to bring it up just a wee bit to where I kind of think it's looking a wee bit natural. And just by adding that adjustment layer, I'll turn it on and off. The difference it has made has been unbelievable. That's really, really nice. And what I'll maybe do is I'll add another adjustment layer at the very top. We'll go back in the adjustments. It's quite a nice adjustment layer in Affinity Photo is Lens Flare. And by clicking it, all that Lens Flare is doing is really adding a bit of a colour. It's kind of colour grading it a wee bit with this orange colour. And that means it's affecting the background layer and the foreground layer. So by just turning it on and off, it's just matching it up a wee bit more. Down here, this water is just not the same colour and it's doing my head in just a wee bit so what I might do is just try to change this up a wee bit I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm gonna very quickly take away this mask so I've got the whole image back again and I'm just very qu quickly gonna go into smart selection brush and see if I can get just this wee bit I 
and mask that layer. So deselect it. So at the minute, if I move this layer about, you'll see it's just that wee bit I've got selected. And I'm going to make another adjustment layer on it. Maybe go into this curves again into red and really, really bring it up a wee bit to see. Yeah, I don't want it too much because it goes, it goes too red then. Maybe go into the, the blue and just decrease some of the blue. And that blends in a lot better. I know it's not quite the same color, but then it's in amongst rocks and it's a different different position. So I don't think you even notice that. And I think that blends in with those rocks really well. We'll just do before and after. See before, it's still quite blue. And just by adding a wee bit more red and taking a wee bit more of the blue, that's that image looking re really well. And we'll just go to before and after, before and after. And I think if you showed somebody that photo, they wouldn't think too much or they wouldn't have any idea that that was a sky and sea replacement and a bit of color correction too. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. If you followed along, let me know in the comments below of how you got on, what your finished project looked like. Hopefully it was something similar, maybe even better than mine. As always, please like this video. I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe as there's going to be more tutorials coming out. Normally two or three tutorials every week. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.